guys and a very very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and I hope we've all had a great day so far. Well tonight I made the wee tipsy layered and I thought I'd just pop on quickly just to, you know just to see how I put it together. It's awfully similar to a trifle but you know it doesn't have the same sort of structure and it's a it's a far messier pudding. It's just it's a perfect midweek after dinner pud. I've listed everything that I've used in the description bar down below but I'll also pop it on the screen as well just as I'm using it. Now, if you want to follow along with this wee recipe, this will feed four people generously. You know, it's, it's quite rich and it's quite sweet, so you definitely don't want, you know, a great big heaping bowl of this stuff. <laughs> and it's up to you whether you use the whiskey or not, but the whiskey is going to give it the tipsy factor in the recipe, yeah. So let's move on and we'll see what we do. Now, this is the whiskey that I'm using. You're only going to need about three tablespoons. So these wee miniature bottles are absolutely ideal. And this, as usual, is the vanilla that I'm using. So this is such a simple and easy recipe, guys. It really, really is. It does not get any easier than this. The only thing you're going to have to do is prepare your jelly in advance. I like to do this, you know, the day before, if I can, you know, because it does obviously take quite a few hours to set properly. So this is what I've used. First of all, I've got a couple of handfuls of flaked toasted almonds. I've got 350 grams of raspberry jelly and I've also added some raspberries to that just for the texture. I'm using 500 grams of Devon custard. Now, this is just instant custard. I'm also using 500 ml of double or whipping cream, 400 grams of Madeira cake, which I've just cubed, 150 grams of fresh raspberries, and obviously some extra to pop into your jelly. Three tablespoons of icing sugar, three tablespoons of whiskey, any whiskey you like, and half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. So the first thing, like I said, you want to get your jelly made. So this is just one of these blocks that you buy and dissolve in water. So this is a raspberry jelly. I've just cut it up into cubes. I'm going to add that to a Pyrex jug and add half a pint of boiling water. Now you just want to stir your wee cubes until they're completely dissolved. So like I said, you'll probably want to do this the night before. And once it's completely dissolved, top it up by another half pint, giving you a pint of jelly. Just make sure all of your wee bits are dissolved. And I just like to throw in some raspberries and refrigerate until set. And once it's set, I just like to go around the jelly with a spoon or a fork and break it up. Like I say, it doesn't have the same structure as a trifle, but it's very similar. So you just set that to the side and go on with your cream topping. So I've got a big bowl and to that I'm going to add my cream. So that's 500 ml of double cream, three tablespoons of icing sugar and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And you just want to blend all of this together until it becomes nice and thick. It'll only take a couple of minutes. Now this tastes exactly like dream topping from back in the day. The icing sugar just gives that cream a wee bit of oomph. So once you're happy, you know, I've just popped mine into a piping bag. And I've got a wee bit left over in case I need to top that up later on. So you can set this to the side as well. You want it to be nice and thick, but not like concrete, just so that it's a piping consistency. You want to grab whatever bowls you're using. The first thing you want to do is get some of your wee pieces of cake into the bottom. Just about a handful, you don't need too many. And then to that you want to add about a tablespoon of whiskey, or more if you like. Just, to, just let it soak into your sponge for a couple of minutes. And to that you just want to add a few raspberries. Again, probably about five or six, not many. And on top of that, you want to put a couple of spoons or a few spoons of your jelly and raspberry mixture. And this is going to soak into your sponge as well. Now, 
and then you want to go in with your custard. Like I say, this is just instant cold custard. There's no need to heat this up. And just pop a few spoonfuls over the top of your jelly. And once you're happy, it's time for your cream. So I'm just using this wee nozzle again that I used last week. It's so easy. And the last thing you want to do is pop on some of your toasted almonds. Absolutely delicious, so it is. But if you don't like whiskey, obviously you don't have to add whiskey. It's completely up to you. I just bet you know if, if you're using, you know, if you're making it for kids, you'll obviously not want to use the whiskey. And just finish the whole thing with your remaining raspberries. And that's it. You know, it takes about 10 minutes. Once your jelly is obviously set. But like I say, if you do that the night before, you know, five, ten minutes and you're done. And it's such a lovely wee dessert midweek. And this is what it looks like from the side. You can see all those nice layers there. So like I said, guys, five, ten minutes and you've got yourself a lovely wee dessert. So what did you think? It wasn't really much of a recipe, more of an assembly exercise, I think. But we just love trifle in this country. And we usually, in fact, every year for Christmas, we have trifle. But it's a wee bit more special. Like I say, this is just a wee cheaty, easy midweek after dinner pudding. So I've got meals of the week going up in about an hour. So I'm just finishing that off just now. So hopefully I'll see you back for that as well. So until I see you next time, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye now.